what it do, it's your boy J. Lou, and you guys are just in time for something new. Now in this video, what I want to talk to you guys about is something that is way more important than waving. And what I mean when I say that is, I want to talk to you guys today about... You want to know what's more important than throwing away money at a strip club? Credit, credit, credit. Now with this video, this video is definitely something that deviates away from my main content or my channel. But I promised you guys at 3,000 subs that I was gonna put out a video just based off of credit and things like that and how you can improve your credit score. Yes, the number in my thumbnail is real. That is my actual credit score and things like that. But, but, but I figured I'd go through and give you a breakdown of, of things that I've learned in my lifetime just to help some of you young boys out. You know what I'm saying? That's just starting off that maybe still in high school and stuff like that. And y'all wanna be able to have a greater footing when it comes to your life. You know what I'm saying? You don't only just want to have dope and elite waves. You also want to be able to live an elite lifestyle. And sadly enough, one of the things that help you be able to do that in America is credit. All right. Now, with that being said, I am not a professional. And all of this advice that I'm giving you is just coming from a guy with 720 waves. You know what I'm saying? I've been just working on brushing my waves. And that's really what my channel is about. But like I said, for me personally, I don't care about being called an elite waiver if my life is an elite. You know what I'm saying? So with that being said, let's not waste any more time. Let's just jump straight into it. So with this video, what I want to do is just simply approach this from an elementary level. Now in America, in order to have a good credit score, the funny thing is you have to go in debt in order to obtain that credit score. Now, if you don't know anything about credit, credit is basically saying you want to go to the store to buy a major purchase or something like that, and you don't have the cash right then and there to pay for it. Let's just break it down to, to examples that you guys can understand. You need a new Mac laptop, you know? So what you decide to do is go into the Apple store, you find the one that you like, but it costs about a thousand to two thousand dollars now at that time you don't have a thousand or two thousand dollars on hand so credit became a thing because banks and other financial institutions decided to say hey i will loan you this money to make this purchase but you have to pay me back with interest Now you purchase your Mac and over time, you will pay it off by making monthly payments to pay towards your credit card. When you make the purchase, whatever credit card or whatever company that you are, are partnered with, they will pay the expenses of your laptop and you'll be able to take the laptop home, work on it, get a few more paychecks and then pay it off eventually. You know what I'm saying? Now with that being said, one thing I need to say is a lot of people tend to have bad credit scores because of the simple fact that they don't know how to apply discipline whenever they make purchases. What I always recommend to some of you young guys and stuff like that is you want to live within your means what that simply boils down to is you don't want to go out and live this flashy lifestyle get yourself into debt by putting stuff on a credit card and on the surface level it looks like oh man your life is amazing you got all these flashy clothes you got a nice car and all this stuff like that but what most people don't see is that you are in debt you know what i'm saying now i want to talk about the things that most people probably don't know when it comes to credit scores Now, when it comes to improving your credit score, there are six things that you need to understand in order to improve your credit score. But in order to have credit, you need to have a credit card. There is a second type of credit that I won't go into, you know what I'm saying? That deals with paying your rent and everything on time. But the credit that I'm referring to today, it revolves around making major purchases and things like that in the store. Now for me, I got my credit card when I was in high school through Capital One. And the main reason why is because you wanna pick somebody that has a good standing, you know what I'm saying? Now, if Capital One was sponsoring your boy, I would give him a major shot and then say, go get it. You know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, from my personal experiences, I've never really had any issues with Capital One. And one thing I like about Capital One is that they send you this information to be able to help you understand better. All right. So the first thing that you guys need to understand when it comes to improving your credit score is the most important is paying your credit card on time. It makes no sense if you have a credit card and you never pay it on time. Now, some of you young boys that may not know what I'm talking about, whenever you make that purchase and you buy that laptop, what will happen? is Capital One will say, hey, by the first of this month, you need to pay me at least $50 towards the total of this laptop. You know what I'm saying? Now you can choose to pay the $50. You can choose to pay more, but what you want to do is at least pay the minimum. You know what I'm saying? Because if you don't pay that $50, it won't count as an on-time payment and it'll count against you. But, but, but the more on-time payments you make, then the higher your score will be. 
All right, now the second thing is having an established line of credit. You wanna have a credit card for an extended period of time. So what that boils down to for me when I was in high school, my mom knew it was beneficial for me to get a credit card as soon as possible. Now with that being said, when I was in high school, my mom, she didn't let me use my credit card. She basically got it for me. So it would affect that factor of having a long line of credit. But one thing that I learned is this factor is not something that's high on the totem pole because a lot of people will fear and say, dang, man, I'm in my thirties. I don't have a credit card. I didn't believe in it. I just took the money under the mattress and stuff like that. But now I want to get a credit card because I want to make purchases. And one thing I want to say to you guys is don't worry about it. You know what I'm saying? It does help in the sense that uh, if somebody can see that you've had a credit card for at least 15 years and they see that you've made on-time payments all the time, that's how it affects your, your score more so. And this boils down to the simple principle. Everybody has their one friend that they always ask you for money. Now, if this friend asks you for money and the first time you gave them money, they didn't pay you back, the next time that they ask you for money, you would not want to give them money simply because they have shown that they are not willing to pay you back. So why would you give them money and things like that? What this factor is, it's just showing people that, hey, if you have a friend that says, hey, can I borrow $5? Give them $5. The next day they give you your $5 back. The next time they ask, you'll be more willing to give that person five dollars you know what i'm saying and if they kept paying your money back on time without you having to ask for your five dollars back you would see man this person seems like he's loyal you know what i'm saying like they're not willing to make me ask for you because because one of the things that I hate the most is whenever you give somebody money and then they don't offer to pay you back and you have to keep asking them, hey man, where's my money, bro? Where's my five dollars? I gave you five dollars a month ago. I've been asking you every single Sunday and you still not paying me my money. No, but that's basically what the second factor is. The longer you have your credit card, it basically shows companies that you are making on-time payments. Now, I don't want to beat that down into the ground, but the third factor that really affects your credit score is how much credit do you utilize? All right, so this next factor is kind of complicated in a sense. What I plan on doing is making a second video to where I go into more detail about these six factors. But when it comes to credit utilization, what you want to do is if you have a credit limit of $100, which simply means is the credit card company told you that we trust you with only a hundred dollars and if you try to put more than a hundred dollars on this card it will be declined now if you take that credit limit and you go out and make a purchase of fifty dollars that simply means that you have used fifty percent of your limit that's what the third factor is all about credit utilization now what you want to do to improve your credit card score is you want to keep that utilization percentage very low what you want to shoot for is a five to maybe ten maybe fifteen percent range you know what I'm so what that boils down to is with the example I just gave, if you have a hundred dollar limit, you only want to have five dollars showing up at the end of your statement every month or maybe even fifteen dollars showing up. Now, everybody has a different limit. And when I first started off, I only had a limit of, I think, a thousand dollars on one credit card. As you make on time payments and you have your credit card for a long time, the credit card company will extend your limit to where that $100 limit will change to $1,000, you know what I'm saying? So instead of it taking $50 to be able to utilize 50% of your credit card, it would take $500 to be able to utilize that. And that's what you really wanna do with a credit card. You wanna make small purchases and things like that. And the best advice that I was ever told was from my mom. She said, you don't wanna swipe your credit card unless you already have the money in your bank account or cash in hand. And the reason why you wanna do that is because you don't wanna develop a habit or a mindset of just swiping your credit card blindly. You want to be able to know how much money you have and make sure you live within your means. Now, I could really go into detail about this point, but I don't wanna make this video more complicated than it needs to be. So let's just go on to the fourth topic. All right, so the fourth thing is called recent inquiries. What this boils down to is whenever you go make a purchase of things like that, companies will check your credit score. So to break that down in a practical term, once I graduated college, the first thing I was like, man, I need to buy, I need to buy a really good mattress. So I went to mattress firm. I got me a Tempur-Pedic, you know what I'm saying? Because throughout college, I'm pretty sure some of you guys that are in college and stuff like that can, can vouch for me, you know what I'm saying? But man, those dorm mattresses suck, you know what I'm saying? They make your back hurt, that you don't get enough sleep, you know what I'm saying? So the first thing on my mind was like, I want to buy me a mattress. When I went to go buy that mattress, they checked my credit score and that simply went down as a recent inquiry. Now, when it comes to credit, just to keep things simple, if I walk into the Mac store and I want to buy that Apple computer, when they check my credit score, it's not going to show that I have a recent inquiry because that's the first time I'm trying to make a major purchase. But if I was to go out of that Mac store and then walk into the Gucci store, Gucci gang, Gucci gang, Gucci gang, Gucci gang, Gucci gang, Gucci gang, Gucci gang. All right, enough of that. 
But if I was to walk into the Gucci store and try to make a major purchase and try to use my credit card, now whenever I go to the front, the lady's gonna check my credit score and it will show that I had a one recent inquiry because I just bought the laptop. That's basically the principle of what recent inquiries are. And you really wanna be able to space out your major purchases, especially if you're gonna use a credit card, because the more recent inquiries that you have, the lower your score will be. But that's basically what it boils down to when it comes to recent inquiries. All right, so on to the fifth factor of how to improve your credit score. Now, this one is similar to recent inquiries and what this one deals around is how many new accounts have you created? Now, once you make an account, it will go down on your credit card that you have opened up a credit with some kind of financial institution and things like that. If you go out and open a whole bunch of credit cards within a short time frame, that is gonna trigger a red flag. The reason why they will show up as a red flag on your credit is because it will show people that, hey, this guy's probably trying to get a whole bunch of credit limit because they're trying to buy something that they can't afford, you know what I'm saying? And a lot of financial institutions will either give you a higher interest whenever you buy something or they won't allow you to purchase something using credit. All right, so for me, when I was in high school, I got my credit card through Capital One. I went on to college and everything like that. Once I graduated, I told you guys that I wanted to buy that mattress. Once I bought that mattress, they offered me a credit card through Mattress Firm to be able to get a, a cheaper discount on the mattress that I was buying. I was like, look, it's been almost six years since I've opened up a credit card and everything like that. Maybe it's time for me to do this. Now, once I did that, it only counted as one new account on my history at the time. You know what I'm saying? And over time, I believe at the end of the year or something like that, like I said, every credit card company is different. Over a certain time period, they will reset your new accounts that you've opened. You know what I'm saying? So what you really want to do is space out when you open a new account. And one little tip that I've learned is for me, instead of me closing my accounts, what I should have did was just simply shred up the credit cards. You know what I'm saying? Because what will happen is any credit that you built up, any score that you built up on a credit card, once you cancel it, it will go away. You know what I'm saying? So if you cancel your very first credit card, lenders will have to go off of your most recent credit card that you've opened up. You know what I'm saying? So, but I don't want to get too much into details of that. Let's go on to the last and sixth factor. All right. So the last and sixth factor is basically what I've been talking about this whole entire time. And that revolves around the subject of available credit. All right, now the reason why this is important is because when I first started off with my credit card, I only had a thousand dollars on that Capital One card that I told you guys about. Over time, as I made on-time payments, I kept my credit card open. I didn't have a lot of recent inquiries and things like that. I kept my credit utilization down. What Capital One decided to do was say, hey J. Lou, we see that you've been doing everything right. What we wanna do is extend your credit limit so you can probably make bigger purchases and things like that because we see that you're getting older we see that you're taking care of your finances and stuff like this so let's extend your credit limit that's one way you can extend your credit limit and the only way you can raise this score is by having a huge credit limit i believe you have to have at least fifty thousand dollars on a credit limit to be able to get an excellent score but if you guys are young don't rush to do that because like i told you already once you are making on-time payments you have your credit card for a very long time you don't have a lot of recent inquiries you're not doing all these bad things your lender will extend your credit limit and when you get older and when you really do need to make those purchases, you can open up new accounts to where they won't affect your score to allow yourself to increase your credit limit. And even for me, I'm up in age, but I still haven't reached that, that $50,000 limit, you know what I'm saying? Because I'm not rushing it. My credit score already is dang near almost at 800, you know what I'm saying? And when you have a high credit score, that allows you to be able to get a lower interest on the major things that you want to purchase. So take your time because for me, one thing that I've learned is when I, did, when I wanted to buy my first car, when I went to the dealership, the first thing that they looked at was my background on my credit. Because my credit score was so high, they only wanted to charge me the lowest interest rate possible. And with interest rates, the only thing that you guys need to keep in mind is you want to have a very small interest rate because what that says is if you make a purchase of $100 and you have an interest rate of 5%, every month that goes by and you don't pay off that, that balance, it adds 5% every single month. So if you don't pay off the whole balance the first month, you'll have $105 total the next month and it keeps going up. You know what I'm saying? So just in short, the main thing that you guys want to keep in mind is you want to improve your credit score because whenever you go make major purchases, it allows you to make those major purchases and they will offer you deals as having small interest rates or they'll say, hey, well, we won't charge you interest for the first year or whatever the case is. And a funny little story with you guys is I remember the first time I went to go buy a handgun. You know what I'm saying? I live in Texas. I know a lot of people have a different beliefs when it comes to guns and stuff like that. But down here in Texas, that's just something that we do. You know, so when I went to go buy my first 
first gun, what they did was they ran a background check and they also checked my credit. He basically sent out a request saying, hey, I need J. Lou's credit score and things like that. Within two to five minutes, it came back. Now, when my credit score came back that fast, the dude was shook. He literally told me, he was like, man, you must have A1 credit because it went through like that. And every time I make major purchases, when I bought my mattress, when I bought my car, when I bought my gun, any major purchases that I made, people would always say, man, you must have amazing credit because it didn't take no time in order for me to get a response back based on your credit score. So that's a practical little short story time for you guys. You know what I'm saying? It's your boy, J. Lou. I don't want to keep this video too drawn out. I do want to make a second video to go into more detail. If you guys want that, make sure you leave comments down below and make sure you spam that like button. I appreciate all the support. I appreciate every single view. I appreciate every single person that joins the Just In Time squad. You know what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, it's not only about having elite waves. That's not the goal for me. The goal is having an elite life. And that's what I want for all my subscribers as well. So if you want more content like this and things like that, or you want to hear about my perspective more when it comes to financial things, y'all already know what to do. But it's your boy, J. Lou. Salute. No plex, no stress, just bless these boys. Can't test my wave too fresh. Uh, J. Lou last verse with so much swag. How you hop on the beat with so much class? How these waivers copy and they be still trash? How you write a verse last minute so fast? Take some notes, cuz here is the game plan. Don't copy other people, yeah, be your own man. Take the time to show love to your real fans. Keep their brush moving to secure all of your bands.